Hey guys, Will here, Wildo635, and I wanted to talk about Dwarf Pennywort. It comes from Southeast Asia, and it's a really good foreground or mid-ground plant. It stays low, as you can see here. And here's the plant a little closer up. It's growing well in my Eco Complete. You can see the roots have attached to the substrate there. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm growing it under medium light, pretty low light. And um, it's growing well. I started out with like a little clump of it. And I've been propagating it and just kind of spreading it out um, to propagate it. You just take it and you can break off oops there we go just break off a little piece and you can plug that into your substrate right there that little end and it will start growing that's what I've done with um, with all of these you can see here so it's easy to propagate grows fast um, I guess it's similar to like pearlweed how you cut it and plug it and cut it and plug it until you have a nice carpet and it'll spread out too on its own but just to increase the surface area um, just cut it and plug it so here's the scientific name I'm not really gonna try to say that especially that second word <laughs> but I got it for free um, off of Aquabid I ordered some four leaf clover actually a lot of it and uh, the guy as you can see told me to try the dwarf pennywort so here it is you can grow in low light, high light, medium light it's a really cool plant um, don't confuse it with the hydrocotyle japonica. That is also a small species of pennywort that grows low. Um, it's a little less like weedy. And I think it's used in some more like professional aquascapes, I guess. That's the Japonica, Japanica. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you want to try this out, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, I'll get this whole carpet going of it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.